New Zealand has actively engaged in past CIIEs and for this year it's not going to be uh, any exception. We do recognise however that the COVID-19 pandemic uh, will mean that uh, China and participating countries will need to be flexible, adaptable and creative in how we all take advantage of uh, this year's expo. So for this year New Zealand is very pleased to be able to host a virtual national uh, pavilion which will showcase uh, New Zealand's uh, premium products, our innovative industries, as well as New Zealand's culture and lifestyle. So I would definitely invite all Global Times uh, readers to check out our uh, virtual contribution. I expect that this year's CIIE will again provide valuable opportunities for New Zealand companies and New Zealand uh, business people to take uh, full advantage uh, of the opportunities provided uh, to connect with uh, existing Chinese partners, to develop meaningful commercial partnerships and relationships with new Chinese partners, uh, but also to use the opportunities provided to showcase uh, New Zealand's uh, very high-end uh, premium products and services to Chinese consumers. At the CIIE itself, the New Zealand government will be supporting a number of New Zealand company uh, pavilions in the food and beverage and healthcare sectors and these are sectors where New Zealand enjoys a very positive reputation both in China and internationally. There will not be any uh, New Zealanders who will be uh, able to come up to the CIAE in person and uh, that's due unfortunately to the COVID uh, situation. Uh, however, their company's presence at this year's CIAE uh, I believe uh, further demonstrates their continuing commitment to China.